Today I'm showing you how you can download as well as install and use a Thunderhack Recode or Thunderhack Plus client for Minecraft Java Edition 1.20.1. So the first thing you want to do over here is go to the top of the description where you will find the GitHub page. Um, this is the official one right here. You want to scroll down a little until you find this over here, Fabric API 1.20.1. You want to go ahead and click on that. That'll bring you to this page over here, and then you want to click on download. You do actually want to go back to the official GitHub page once you've downloaded that, and click on this releases tab over here. Here you should find the latest release for you, and then you want to scroll down until you find the download of the latest release. You want to download the file that has a .jar at the end. So in this case, it's this one right here. As you can see in my downloads over here, I've got the Fabric API as well as Thunder Hack, both right there ready to be used. So you want to press on the Windows key as well as the R key at the exact same time. Then you want to type in a percentage sign, app data, then another percentage sign. Then hit OK or Enter, and that'll open up this page right over here. You want to go into .minecraft and then you want to go into a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, then I can help you with that if you want. Anyways, what you want to do is, here you'll actually find any existing mods you already have, and what you want to do is you want to make sure to just drag both of these right in here. Now for this, you do need to have Fabric installed for the latest version now to be able to do this, you do actually need to have Fabric installed for Minecraft 1.20.1, otherwise it's not going to work. As you can see, I've got it right over here, so I can just click on play. As you can see, Minecraft has successfully loaded up, which is great, and we can just head into any world, and I'll show you guys how it works. Now, one quick thing, if your Minecraft did crash, which honestly isn't that uncommon, then what you want to make sure you do is um, I've actually got a tutorial on how to fix that down in the description below. Um, so you can go ahead and watch that and that should hopefully fix your issues. If not, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try and help you out further. I keep forgetting to change my skin from this imposter one here. Um, oh well, kind of too late now. Uh, anyways, so you might have just seen that message in chat here. So the default click GUI keybind is P. So um, I'm just quickly going to show you guys how to use this right. And um, if you want me to make an in-depth tutorial, I will. Anyways, as you can see, the first time you open it up, you will get prompted to select your language. Um, and then you can choose if you want help with the config or not. Anyways, here as you can see, you can see the menu, which is now laid out very nicely by me. Um, anyways, you don't really need this menu because you can mainly use this search part here, um, where you can search for different things. As you can see, um, now only the things with C, H, and A um, are going to pop up here, which is pretty nice. So, to select different things for all, basically every single one of these hacks is you can just right click on them um, and then this entire menu here will pop up as you can see it has that for almost every single one of these right um, so that's pretty cool um, you got settings here as well which you got over there there's not a lot of them um, as for the click GUI which is probably the most um, important one and stuff like that. Anyways, most of it is pretty self-explanatory, and if you have some experience with this stuff, then you'll recognize a lot of it from other clients as well. Um, as I said, you can also right-click on them, and that should give you also a bit of a better idea of what everything's about. Anyways, to close the menu, you can just hit Escape, and then you're going to be all good. Anyways, for right now, that was just really briefly how to use it. If you want a full in-depth tutorial, then I will definitely make that. Anyways, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye! -bye.